Most engines are mounted vertically with the head at the top, but a slight tilt sideways is normal and may bring some benefits. There are configurations with as many as a 90 degree slant angle, but inverting an engine upside down is not really a common thing to see. Most often they are to be seen in aircrafts, where they may hinder the view outside. De Havilland Gypsy Major Produced in between the world wars as a sport lightweight aircraft engine, the Gypsy was originally developed as an upright engine, but it proved to be better upside down. The propeller was connected directly to the crankshaft, and so inverting it improved view from the pilot cabin. Number 32. The Number 32 combines a 3-cylinder 2-liter engine and a chassis that is as most mass centralized as possible. It uses the crankcase as a part of the chassis and takes away hottest parts of the engine from the rider. It is said to be very good handling, with twice as torque as a 1-liter superbike. Daimler-Benz DB605 The DB605 was a heavy fighter engine boosted by a single-stage supercharger and fed by a methanol water mixture. It provided a ridiculous amount of horsepower that is often doubled or quadrupled. Actually, there was a DB610 version that uses twin DB605 gear together, turning the single propeller. Walter Minor. The Minor is a series of inverted engines with 4, 6 and 12 cylinders of the same cylinder dimensions. It was manufactured in Czech Republic and was used across many different aircrafts, utility, passenger, military or even sport touring. It was air-cooled with a cloud carburetor and required at least 68 octane fuel. A supercharger was optional. Avia M332 and 337. These engines were basically improved Walter Miners by engineer Bohomil Šimunek. The 4 and 6 cylinder versions were both very similar, still retained the same size, but were much more powerful with a supercharger and direct fuel injection. It was overhead cam and had sodium filled exhaust valves.
Junkers Dumo 211. Junkers is known for their 204 model that uses twin pistons in a cylinder for a two-cycle diesel combustion. The 211 is a different one using an inverted V12 layout mostly for bomber aircraft of the World War II alongside the DB605 using fighters. The Junkers was equipped with a two-speed supercharger with an automatic boost control, direct injection, free valve overhead cam and liquid cooling. Continental XI 1430, originally meant to be extensively produced and used, this 23 liter engine made very good horsepower numbers compared to a Rolls Royce Merlin or the Jumo 211. The Continental did use double overhead cams and 4 valves per cylinder with a turbocharger besides a supercharger. Only 23 examples were built as it seemed too heavy and not that needed at the end. <laughs> Herf HM504. This Herf power plant was a successful one from Germany, used in lightweight sport, acrobatic and training aircraft. It found its way into a helicopter too and was similar to the Walter engine cylinder size wise. The difference was the head design, known as inlet over exhaust valve, meaning that the intake is in the head and exhaust is in the block. Ranger L440. Although this six cylinder is a bit larger than any aforementioned four cylinder, it was still used in lighter training and small passenger aircraft. It featured a crankshaft set into seven main bearings, and some parts were made of magnesium alloy. The cooling was assured by air with pressure type cylinder baffles. <laughs> Argus AS-10 Just like the AS-17, the AS-10 was also an inverted engine, but of a V8 design. It was also used in training aircraft, but also short-range reconnaissance and communication aeroplanes. It was relatively a low-power engine that used a flathead design with a maximum highest power for 5 minutes at 2000 rpm. <laughs> The Havilland Gypsy Queen and 6. The Gypsy series was joined by a 6 cylinder 6 version that first ran in 1935. 
It was later updated with the Queen designation, being produced in multiple times more examples. These engines were still commonly used up until 1980s in small passenger, communication or racing aircrafts. 